Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Hi, I am Char, your thespian auntie, and I am your remote worker info broker, which means that I will get you the information that you need to find remote jobs, to find work at home jobs, to find things that was going to give you that coin, honey. That's what I'm here to do. That's who I am. So welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. A little bit about me. I have worked in um, the work from home industry, remote industry, whatever you want to call it, for over 20 years. I started in 2002 when my son was a little baby boy. <laughs> now he's a grown man. So, um, yeah, I have a lot of experience of working from home. And also, um, I've only worked out the home twice. Yeah, twice during my 20 years. So I guess I, I have a liking to working from home. So uh, so that's why I'm here, here to share with my family out there and friends and people who are just wanting just to peek to see what's out there to let you know that there are there are jobs out there. The economy is getting a little bit better. So for some people, it's better than uh, for others then and vice versa, but it's getting better. So just wanted just to share. And it is open enrollment season. Yes, it is, which means that a lot of people will be um, renewing their health insurance at their jobs. Um, um, it's also open enrollment for, um, they call it Obamacare, <laughs> but it's open enrollment. And so around this time of year, they need as many hands on deck as possible. And one of those industries is Medicaid. That's for the government. Um, hopefully they will continue this. But in the meantime, in between time, Humana is hiring Medicare member care representatives to work from home. As you can see, all of these states right here, all of these states are needing requirements from people to be a representative for Humana. And so I saw this and I was like, I got to share this with my peoples. <laughs> I got to share it with my people, honey, because they need to know what's out there. So, um, yeah, it's open enrollment. So you're going to find a lot of jobs in, in health insurance around this time. And it could possibly be a, a moment and an opportunity for growth as well, too. So just because you start at a customer care level, you might get elevated to supervisor, team lead, whatever. So let's see what Humana does. Now, we know Humana. Humana has been around for ages, 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 ages. Medicaid is one of the many, um, uh, what is it, uh, insurance uh, things that they offer. I can't think right now. I need some coffee. <laughs> what are the, the many insurance um, benefits that they offer? So, And they have people who have um, got, got Medicaid and they just need to have some answers, um, questions answered regarding their benefits. So let's scroll down to see. So if you're an existing person, you got to go internally. So we know that. So let's read and see what they say about this job. Become a part of our caring community and help us put health first. Do you have a desire to work from home? Yes. Do you love assisting others when they are in need? Yes. Are you looking for a valuable experience working for a fortunate 100 company that focuses on the well-being of their, of their customers? Yes. Come be a part of Humana's member calls uh, Humana's member calls organization. Our call center representatives have a passion for assisting people with their health care needs, in particular our Medicaid members, to provide the best solutions and outcomes working in a best in class contact center. All right, let's read more about this job. Let's go up a little bit. Um, as a Medicare. As Medicaid customer care representative too, you will be taking as many as 75 calls per day from Medicaid customers who have questions about their health, health benefits, which, which is not bad. That's really not bad. 75 calls per day, that's not bad. This is a high volume call center setting, which can be stressful at times. At least they highlighted that, they bolded it. If you can handle stress, you can handle this. In addition, you would also support our Medicaid outbound call campaign efforts to, by conducting outreach calls to our members. As their advocate, you will assist them with primary care changes. So if they want to change doctors, you can assist with that. Locating um, doctors and specialists in their area, benefit coverages, authorization. So sometimes they might need an authorization before they have a certain surgery. Pro, um, provider claim inquiries, um, 
grievances, appeals, transportation needs, and pharmacy support. So this is more for um, the elderly as well. So use your skills to make an impact. So required, again, the required qualifications for this is as follows. Um, minimum one year customer service experience is required. So customer service experience could be anything. It could be working in a, a store, working at McDonald's, being on the call center. Whoever is not you is your customer. So you don't have to be in a call center environment. You just need to have customer service experience. So no matter where you are, everyone outside of you is your customer, everyone, except for family. But everybody that you have contact with, anybody that you have that you don't know is considered being a customer. So just make sure you remember that. Proficiency with Microsoft Office applications, particularly Outlook and Teams. Strong technical skills with the ability to work across a multiple software system, including email, chats, efficient typing skills, and toggling across multiple databases while engaging with callers. So you really have to be a multitasker. Must have excellent interpersonal skills and the ability to organize simultaneous, simultaneous tasks. Must meet monthly call attendance and performance metrics. So we know what that is. Average holding time, call, talk time, um, after call work, things like that. So let's see with the training. The, the training for them is virtual. Virtual training starts on day one of employment and will run for the first eight weeks with a schedule of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Training periods and hours subject to change. So that's great. I've been on jobs when they didn't even really offer you any training. You just had to come in there and start working. So eight weeks is great. And if you know a little bit about insurance, it's even better. You must be on time, dressed appropriately, and camera ready. With your camera on during the entire training, I know entire is not in there, but that's what they mean, and underlined for other meetings required by leadership. So please be camera ready. You cannot have your camera off. Be ready at all times. Attendance is vital for your success. No time off will be allowed during training or within the first 60 days. So that's two months. The initial 120 days of employment as an inbound contact center representative constitute an appraisal period. So that's like a, they, they're going to be looking at how you come in, if you log in on time, how well you learn, things like that. So as this appraisal period is essential to your learning and development, which is why we ask for perfect attendance during both the class train, classroom training and nesting periods. Nesting is when you are taking calls, but you have quick access to, with your, you're in training with your colleagues that you're in training with, and then you have access to the team leads who can answer your, your calls or answer your questions regarding certain calls that you receive. This position requires learning many systems, policies, and tools, and it takes time to be proficient in the role. You must be willing to remain in this position for a period of 12 months before applying for other opportunities there at Humana. Work um, hours following after the eight week training period. Um, following training, associates are required to have flexibility to work an eight hour shift between the hours of 7.45 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern time, Monday through Friday. Early shifts are not guaranteed. So it is important to have the availability anytime during this time period. Shifts and hours are subject to change depending on business needs. Some overtime may be required based on business needs. And like I said, this is um, open enrollment. So open enrollment can be really busy. It could be busy anywhere from uh, October, maybe to early part of January, February, because you have people who are, who are enrolling, but when, um, and then they're trying to um, get a lot of their benefits handled before the end of the year. And then by the beginning of the year, they get the new cards. They've already got the new cards. So they're trying to find out if the doctors in the network. They want to make sure that this particular procedure is covered. Things like that. Or if they pay for something, they have a claim they want to submit. They want a reimbursement. You got all those types of questions. I know because I used to work in insurance. So I know. All right. They're asking preferred qualifications, not required, but preferred having an associate or a bachelor's degree, previous inbound and or outbound call center or related customer service experience and prior healthcare experience. Okay, so to ensure 
our home or hybrid home office assistance associates ability to work from home effectively, the self-provided internet service of home or hybrid associates must meet the following criteria. A minimum, a download speed of 25 Mbps and an upload speed of 10 Mbps is recommended. Wireless, wired cable or DSL connections is suggested. Satellite, cellular, and microwave connection can be used only if approved by your leadership. Associates who live or work from home in the state of California, Illinois, Montana, or South Dakota will be provided a bi-weekly payment for their internet expense. Ain't that something? Okay. Humana will provide home or hybrid home office associates with telephone equipment appropriate to meet the business requirements for their position and work from a dedicated space lacking ongoing interruptions to protect members' PHI, that's personal health information and HIPAA information, that's all medical. So um, please make sure you attach your resume to your application PDF or Word format and the interview process, it just takes you, tells you what you're gonna go through. Um, you're gonna go through a text pre-screening shortly after submitting your application. You may receive both a text message and email requesting you to complete a 10 to 15 pre-screen pre questions with either yes or no answers. The text message may arrive prior to the email. If you would prefer via computer or tablet, wait for the email. The assessment, if you are selected to move forward, you will receive an email to complete the virtual job experience. This is an online activity where you will learn about customer care jobs at Humana, try out some of the most common job tasks, and tell us about yourself. Most people complete the VGE in approximately 30 minutes. To complete it, you will need a smartphone, a computer or tablet with internet access, and speakers or headphones. We do not make job offers to candidates do, who do not complete the VJE. Um, video pre-screen, if you're successful, with the VJE, you will receive another communication to record a video pre-screen. This is an online video activity using your phone, tablet, or computer. However, most candidates prefer using a computer or tablet. Interviews. Some candidates will be invited to interview, so the recruiter will reach out to schedule and offers. Finalists from the interviews will be contacted by a recruiter to discuss an offer to the job. And please note, Depending on the number of openings, the number of candidates who apply, and the schedule of interviews and recruiters, this process may take several weeks or less. However, know that we are working hard to proceed as quickly as possible and to keep you informed. So again, um, 40 hours a week, which means it's a regular 9 to 5 or 8 to, 8 to 4 30 job. And this is the salary, 34 5 to 47 4 per year. So again, this might not be a high, high salary job, but it's a start. It is definitely a start for you to maintain and gain experience as um, a customer care representative, especially when it comes to healthcare. Because no matter what, in the healthcare industry, those particular um, opportunities never fade, phased or phased out when it came to when we were in the midst of that whole thing that happened in 2020. Y'all know what I'm talking about, the pandemic. Um, healthcare stayed, stayed like on top of things. They, there was no, well, the nurses, they were overworked, but they still had a lot of opportunities when it came to the medical industry. So the medical industry does not suffer much. They do need, I do believe that they do need to pay more, but if you need a start, if you need to, um, begin your career in healthcare and you wanting to learn and know about, um, Medicaid or Medicare, Come here, apply for this position, do your research when it comes to Humana. You can go to Glassdoor, you can go to, um, what is it, um, LinkedIn, see what the employees, former as well as current employees are saying about the company. Again, Humana has been around for centuries, so I know that they do have longevity, but you also want to make sure that it is the right match for you. So apply, let me know, or if you don't want to apply, share it with somebody who you, you know is looking for a job. Um, you can maybe do this full-time and do something part-time or do whatever you need to do. But um, 
it is an opportunity to get your foot in the door. So hopefully this helped you. Again, my name is Shar. I'm your Desmond auntie, and I am your remote worker info broker here to share with you information about getting you the coin that you need. Now, like I always say, get your behind online and apply, or at least give it to somebody else who needs it. Okay.